A couple pearls, um, one around the knee is in the um, suprapatellar recess. You can get this little bit of a hypoechoic uh, area, and that suprapatellar recess often communicates with the intraarticular space. So when trying to achieve needle placement in that area, probably the best way to do it is look longitudinal to the, um, patellar, uh, to the quadriceps tendon, find that suprapatellar recess, and then, and then go from there. However, if the knee is bent and you've got that quadriceps tendon here, now you've got this hypoechoic area. This is not an intraarticular fluid. This is articular cartilage. So you know, don't stick a needle into someone's articular cartilage uh, thinking it's, a flu it's fluid. Um, if I go in transverse, here we're looking at one, two, three tendons of the quadriceps. This whole thing is the quad right here. And the quadriceps has a um, trilaminar appearance. Just underneath it is that little tiny bit of fluid right here. So it's in that transverse view of the quadriceps that you'll be able to pick up that suprapatellar recess. We're just above the patella here. And it's in that view that, that you can achieve uh, an injection into that area. At the shoulder, um, at the posterior um, joint line, so this is, this is the humeral head. Here's the glenoid. Um, this isoechoic structure right here is the labrum. And the hyperechoic structure going over the top is the capsule. So your needle tip, if you're um, achieving posterior approach to the shoulder, needs to be below the capsule and not in the labrum and should be, and should be right there, coming from lateral to medial. Um, common pearls, avoid soft tissue compression. If you press too hard, it's going to be harder to do the injection and more painful. Always pre-scan, especially for neurovascular structures, and use Doppler pre and during. So if you use Doppler prior to your injection, you'll be able to pick up vasculature. That vasculature is oftentimes in your nerve. And if you use Doppler during the injection, you can pre-inject with a little bit of lidocaine or saline and open up the area just a tiny bit and remember that increasing that um, hypoechoic area in an isoechoic area will give you contrasting structures and will allow you to improve your signal a bit. So if you inject a little bit with, a hype, with something that's hypoechoic, so, so any, any fluid, any lidocaine or saline, it'll allow you to hydrodissect a little bit as you approach your structure, open it up, and um, if you use Doppler as you're doing your injection, you can actually see the injection flow into the area. Um, to identify your needle, you can use techniques such as rotating your bevel, um, inject the fluid, and also um, uh, holding your needle perfectly still while you move your um, transducer, and I would certainly recommend that. The key there is if you lose your needle tip, don't advance the needle. If you lose your needle tip, find your needle tip with your transducer, keep your needle still, find your, find your needle tip, and then move your needle.